Rex, Bert and Mike, the small railway engines, were excited. The thin clergyman had written a book about them, and today it was going to be published. Am I in it? asked Frank. He was a diesel and inclined to be grumpy. The small controller shook his head. I'm sorry, he said. You weren't here when the thin clergyman wrote it, I'm afraid, so he didn't know about you. Frank was cross. When his driver came to start him the next day, he refused to go. It's not fair, Frank grumbled. Why can't I be in a book like the others? Cheer up, said his driver. It's only a book. It's got pictures, hasn't it? muttered Frank. I'm not in them either, I suppose. Come on, Frank, said his driver, losing patience. It's teamwork that counts on a railway, not books. He pressed the starter button again. Don't care, growled Frank, and started suddenly. He jerked forward. Before his driver could stop him, Frank hit the wall at the back of the shed. Frank was unhurt, but one of the shed supports was cracked. He was sorry at once, and even sorrier when he realised that the small controller had just come into the shed. The small controller was cross and ordered Frank out to work while he made sure that the shed was safe. That afternoon, Rex left the bottom station with a heavy train. As they climbed the first hill, his driver watched the steam gauge anxiously. We've got a steam leak somewhere, he said. They stopped in a loop to let Mike pass. That helped, but Rex was exhausted when they reached the green. He hardly noticed Frank working in the siding. I think we can make it to the top, encouraged his driver. But they didn't. They had to stop in the next loop, and the driver switched on his radio telephone. Engines on the small railway are now fitted with radio telephones. Their drivers can talk to control, who can then make sure that the trains run safely. Rex has got a badly leaking steam pipe, reported the driver to control. We're all right on our own, but the train is too much for us. Can you help, please? We'll get you out somehow, said control. Don't go away. <laughs> Very funny, muttered Rex. Chance would be a fine thing. Bert passed with a down train. Overworked, that's what we are, he sympathised. We need another engine. About ten minutes later, Rex heard a cheerful toot from behind. And Frank rumbled through the loop. Wonderful things, these radios, said Frank. Control says you need help. I'm to take the train and let you go home alone. Teamwork, my driver calls it. Frank ran ahead and Rex was uncoupled and backed into the loop. Frank reversed onto the train and when everything was ready, set off for the top station. Rex hurried home and his driver set to work to mend the broken steam pipe. The job took a long time. If only we had a spare engine, grumbled the driver. At the top station, Frank's driver apologised to the passengers for being late, but they didn't mind. You put things right very well, they said. We were expecting a walk home. The small controller was pleased too. Well done, Frank, he said. And the shed is not badly damaged either, so we'll say no more about it. But he was thoughtful as he went back to his office. Frank shouldn't have to do rescue acts, he said to himself. We do need another engine.